Reef DVM is coming at you with kind of an update on the goat barn. Um, we need to get um, some ventilation in the barn that's a little better. And, you know, one of the sections of the barn is a pretty small room. It's only 10 by 12. So we got one of these um, uh, ex exterior exhaust fans that runs on temperature and humidity. I um, just bought off of online. Comes with a cord, uh, comes with a humidity temperature sensor, a couple batteries, um, and, you know, a shutter. So obviously rain doesn't get in it. It's a seven inch shutter and, you know, weighs six, seven pounds. And, you know, we want to put this in. Now, typically these shutters are put into wood barns or wood structure houses. That's always a little different when you have a metal barn, um, especially with the steel. You know, the steel is, you know, corrugated and, you know, it just doesn't always fit these as well. So the first thing I had to do was literally take it apart. I had to get the fan off the, um, uh, you know, shutter. So again, typically in a house, you know, you could cut a big enough square, stick this up against, you know, your exterior wood plywood that you've cut a hole into, screw it to that, you know, put some nice siding uh, or trim around the outside of it and then put it up. But with the steel sheeting on the barn, it, it's not quite that easy, um, especially when there's, you know, not a lot of wood structure where you're at with it. And if you did have wood structure, it would probably inset too far and, and maybe give you some, some issues as, as far as the um, actual uh, shutter vent reaching out. So what I decided to do is wire it up. Um, again, it actually comes with the cord. So that, that was a nice thing about, about this purchase. It, it's not a real hard um, wiring either. For those who aren't electricians, it's, it's a simple three-wire um, hookup, as you can see here. You basically got you know a, a black, which is hot. You've got a common white and a green ground screw. The only thing that it did not come with, which I found somewhat odd, is it did not come with um, the little protective grommet to go through the metal box. So I did have to go get one of these um, and quick get it installed before wiring it up just to make sure that we didn't damage the wire. And of course, you want to make it so that the wire, you know, is held in and, and these kind of devices kind of pinch it in place. So that way if you pull on the cord and it pulls on the fan, it doesn't come out. I took a piece of plywood. Um, I marked the opening on it. And in this case, I actually mark the opening for the um, fan shroud itself. And then my goal is to cut the opening, put the fan on this. And then what I'm basically going to do from here is I'm going to take the um, uh, uh, ducking system that we use for like typical metal ducking. And I'm going to stick that in there to occupy the space between the plywood wall of the inside of the barn and the foam that's been sprayed in. And then I'll cut a hole in the steel and that'll be a rectangle. So here you go, I've got the, the hole in. And then I'll stick the shutter in first. Now between the shutter and the wood, there's a bunch of foam, okay? And then there's the plywood. So once I got this thing all bolted in, yes, you can see into the barn, but there's about, you know, six inches of space between this shutter and the plywood. And, and I could just use the foam as a way of, of channeling it, but um, in case there's moisture, in case there's bees, in case there's flies and all that crap, I want to make like a channel um, to keep the air flowing through it. So I'm going to take just a basic, you know, Menards, you know, heat duct, I'm going to flare it out here pretty easily. It's not it's not real tough to do. And once once I get it once I get it flared out, um, I'm going to screw it down to itself um, onto this piece of plywood, and then it makes like a channel. Then I'm going to stick that in there. And of course, I, I'm siliconing all this, all these little cracks and stuff. So I want to really I really want to seal it up nice. And then I'm going to stick it in my hole. And the nice thing about this is is I could take out four screws. And the fan, the shroud will all come out, and I've got complete access to the inside of the um, to the inside of the shutter in case I ever have to clean it or remove it or whatever I need to do. Now I'm also up towards the roof line, so even though it doesn't show up on the pictures, there is um, a, a four inch overhang, and then another four inches of gutter above this shutter. So that's actually giving it a lot of protection from downward rain and stuff. Unless you get a real driving rain at the shutter itself, um, it really won't. It really won't push it to shutter. I really want this to run on humidity so that in the summer, 
you know, obviously it'll just turn on when the temperature gets to be, you know, 90 degrees. But the nice thing about running it on humidity is it could be in the dead of winter. And in this section of the barn, if the goats are in it and they're breathing hard, and it's getting a lot of humidity, it'll kick on for that too, regardless of temp. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm just siliconing this in. Um, it works really nice. Just, just took my time and, and, and laid a real solid bead right across this and it, and it really worked well. And again, this, this just gives me protection between the, the, the foam. Then I basically took the, the shroud and the fan there and it's four screws and screwed it back in place. Not, you know, a hard task. I mean, this install took me a couple hours, but most of the, the hard part was just kind of planning location and making sure I cut my steel right, you know, and, and, and cutting the steel, I, you know, just took my time, a lot of measurements, you know, they say measure twice, cut once. It was probably more like measure eight times, cut once, but you know, that's the way that, that's the way that goes. It's, it's not the easiest to always work out. So it's one of those things where if you just take your time and plan ahead, you can get it done. Um, once I got this shroud on, it was just a matter of plugging it in and then plugging in the, the little sensor box, little white sensor box, and then turning on the remote control, which is really nice because, again, you can set the humidity to turn it on and the heat to turn it on or both to turn it on, which is, you know, just a positive in my mind. When you turn on, it just it kicks. It runs pretty quiet. It blows. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's the loudest uh, fan. It's not the strongest fan, but it, it's a it's a decent fan. It's a decent fan, um, and for a 10 by 12, you know, section of goat barn that I want to ventilate, this is exactly what I wanted, folks. Um, here it is at night. I know it's late, but I'm just starting to run it. Um, I've got it um, set right now so that it's not blowing real hard, but you can see it's it's working really nice. It's, it's moving it. Um, I'm just kind of getting things done here for the evening in this shot, and I don't have the outside silicone yet. I am going to silicone the outside. I'll show you that in a minute. And then, you know, the thing will be pretty much weatherproof at that point. I I, I think this will be a good addition to the goat barn, especially because it's on humidity base. I have one of these already installed in my chicken coop and I absolutely love it. Next day shot here, I'm um, just showing you the silicone. I used a, an aluminum based silicone because I kind of wanted to match the, uh, the shutter. Now granted, you could get red and match it to the barn too. Um, as far as the screws go on the exterior, um, those uh, screw all the way into just the metal shutter. And I have those siliconed on the inside around them before I push the shutter up. So I know that that's in good shape. And, I, of course, I used, I used a stainless steel screw and a stainless steel washer. I appreciate you watching, folks. Um, this is how we installed an exhaust system in the goat barn. Please like or subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.